Hi, we gotta fix that fire stick tonight, bro. Uh, so are we going to the boats or am I turning on the lift out? Uh, you can turn on the lift out for a little bit. I'm doing a vaping chat session. Oh. No. Other people do call in lives, which I'm doing call ins too if anybody calls. Or balcony chats. Mine are vaping chats. We don't, we don't own a balcony. No, we can do like back back chats. Yeah. Go in the pool and chat. Right. Take your computer in the pool. You want to tell her to go with that? As long as it's plugged in. Okay. I might even punch you in the titty woman. Come here, you want to snuggle on my webcam? No. Oh, it's the wrong website, right? Yeah, I did that. My bad. What up? Hey! 10% back on eBay today. Huh? No, I you did not. 10 cents back, I said 10%. Oh, say that. Oh, hey, slam your knees in the loop. And I'm trying to run a YouTube Kelly. show here. Kelly, feed the dogs. Dakota, take a shower. One of you has an odor. I'm not going to say which one. So both of you take a shower. <gasps> and you smell like grease. And body odor. What up? Body odor. Not now. We don't want to block anything. So there's another show that's live right now with a couple idiots that are bashing me. I gotta figure out. Is how it Dan TDM? It is not Dan DTM. TDM. It's not him either. That guy's one of the acceptable YouTubers that my son's allowed to watch. Heck yeah. Kelly, you want to be interviewed on my show today? Maybe. Come sit down. Five people. Yeah. I had. I got to figure out oh, my iPod here, kid. I got a problem. Look at, wait, look at, look at this thing. Yeah, the front <laughs> of it's cracked too, which is point. So, when I log into my YouTube, which is what I'm on here, mm -hmm. it says I have no content. But I can't figure out why. It doesn't bring up like the Indie Blue News, but that's. Because that's. Yeah, you're not I'm gonna make right. some but that's the email that Indie Blue News is associated with. So I need a kid to figure out my iPod. Isn't that how the tech world works these days? I guess. Have your kids but hooked I shit thought up? you had your own email for that. I do, but I started this channel before I created the email, so I just changed my name from Jeremy S. to Indie Blue News. Uh, this is an iPod 4 Touch that I got on eBay for 20 bucks. 20? I, I upgraded because my iPod 2 that I bought last week was stolen out of my car. With your car charger. With my cell phone charger. So, like, the kids would have actually got more value out of stealing, like, the change out of my center console than they did the iPod 2. Or the gun. Or the gun. You know, whatever. But, um... It's a glitch from the YouTube up. No, oh, it's all good, man. It's a glitch. That could be. Have you it, tried signing into that email? Your any blue news? No. Email? Here, try it. Figure it out. Make it work. Add another account. Yes. Try that. It's the same password. You know my email, right? It is. Give it a shot. Oh. So there's some idiots that are talking smack about me. And uh, somebody called Noman out on his channel and was like, hey, uh, did, so you, did you know about the phone call? Um, Noman, of course, says, no, I've got swine on recording today saying, yes, yes, it's up to date, but it's not the newest software. So it would only let me download an older version of YouTube. So that may be the issue, but I've got... Tech agent Callie on it. She's going to make it happen for me. I hope so. Otherwise, she's not eating dinner tonight. She don't get it to work. I'm not feeding her. How's that I, I'll just put a pizza in the oven. All right. <laughs> just put a pizza in the oven. You don't even make me dinner anyways. I 
usually do them. I know you that. should make me dinner. Mom. You have made me dinner several times. Mm -hmm. Her grandma's teaching her how to cook. She taught me. Well, you're still learning different things. Oh, I put at Gmail, not dot com. Mac and cheese, right? Hey, we can go back. We to made that. We made that. We can go back to Strax. They got some from the bakery in a container that you can get. All you got to do is put it in the microwave. I almost bought it. We, I made, um, I made him, mac we made macaroni and cheese for all five of us plus my friend. That's a true story. But, um, yeah, so we're taking call-ins. Anybody wants to ramble? Oh, gee, call in. I put the number in, in the uh, description. Hey, guys, I have a new game we can play. What's it called? Every time Jeremy says, um, no! start counting. Everyone needs to make a comment of the number so he realizes how many times he does it. I have a game we can play, too. Um. <laughs> I gotta go. I just got soap all over your phone. She just slung soap water all over us. Is it on your, I don't think you did it on your computer. It's on your phone. I'm going to have to whoop her on ass. Oh, Ohio Guardian. It says Ohio Guardian? She, you can be my secretary. You want to answer? Be like, you're on, the li you're on live with Indie Blue News. <laughs> OG, what's up, my man? Hey, what's going on, brother? Ah, nada. We fi I figured, you know, they got the retard special going on over there, so I'll go live as well. Well, I'll tell you this, your your special has more viewers already. Uh, there's like three people over there. But um, yeah, good work last night. They, they exposed from the uh, the ongoing link to the No Men in the Swine. Um, I, I cannot get him to leave the, the chat room that I set up for the Big Street uh -huh. Project. I'm sorry to, see, to, to have seen you leave it, but oh, I understand I why you did what you did. And you're taking the high road and being the bigger man. So I appreciate that. And uh as soon as everybody is out of that chat room that we don't want there, I'd, I'd love to have you back. And, and that's mainly why I'm calling because, like I told you when we were texting back and forth earlier, man, I don't want to see you go because that guy's an idiot. Right. No, uh, I, my opinion on it was, like, it wasn't nothing against you guys at all. It was just the fact that I knew what I did last night um, was going to cause drama with Noman. And I didn't want you guys to be drug into a pissing match around trying to do your work and trying to do productive things, you know, if that makes sense. So, and, and, and look, that is very thoughtful of you, and we appreciate it sincerely. We do. Um, that being said, though, uh, we don't want to see you go anywhere, man. I mean, you, you seem like a solid dude. Everything that we've uh, discussed up until now, and hopefully moving forward. Will further solidify that, but yeah, it, the warning signs were there with no land swine from the very beginning. Um, I was really hoping that we could uh, well, we could rein no man in a little bit, and he, he seems to be at least a semi intelligent guy as far as you know the way he sets up his media outlet and everything else. But man, I, his ongoing uh, affiliation with swine is just not something that that myself or the other members of our organization are willing to tolerate. So, um, yeah, like I told you earlier, I don't want to, I don't want to throw blue out with the swine water, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. No, and that's what I said. Like, you know, I said last night, like, um, and it wasn't a knock on you guys, and it wasn't a knock on anybody else, but like, I would rather do this solo and know that I'm being honorable. Um, you know, that's one of the things they were talking about is I'm I'm dishonest and I lie and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, um, you know, I recorded a uh, almost an hour conversation with Swine today that I'm going to put up on on YouTube here in a little bit. Um, I recorded it on my iPod. It actually I have eight gigabytes of memory on my iPod. I got like three of music on there. So I actually ran out of space. Um Stop jiggling the worm, damn it. Uh, I actually ran out of space on my iPod, so I missed like the last two or three minutes of the conversation. But it gets to the point in the conversation where like Swine calls me and he's like, well, let's, you know, do you support the First Amendment? And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, well, do you support holding police accountable? And I'm like, yeah. 
And he's like, well, bashing me isn't isn't being productive to anything. And I was like, no, it's not. But the production value out of it comes from the fact of if we weed out the bad, then the good shine. And he's like, well, that means you see me as a threat. And I'm like, in no way do I see you as a threat. I don't see you as a threat as an auditor. I don't see you as a threat as a human being. Like, I am not scared of swine in any respect of life. You know, my my six year old who is going to be an orange belt in karate, I would bet could whoop swine's ass. Um, oh, you know, yeah, especially after seeing him topless last night, I probably agree with you. I you know, dude is a, a pile of goo. I also know that there's an auditor. Um, hey, salty rant. Uh, I also know that there's another auditor that saw the live stream last night and is is in the process of trying to. Uh, Re- report uh, him to the authorities for going live in a strip club and seeing if maybe there would be some sort of invasion charge um, because that's not a public es- es- establishment where you could just walk in and record like um, that's an invasion of those girls privacy like they expect in that environment to not be advertised on the web like and showing live well well, not only that, but uh, I, I think it was a few years back I can't remember where the story came out of but there was a strip club that had installed um, hidden cameras behind some of the mirrors that you know, were like one-way mirrors and stuff like that. And they were actually selling the footage of the strippers online without the strippers' consent. And it was a, it was a huge, huge deal. Uh, they ended up getting shut down, sued for millions and millions of dollars of the class action suit because the, uh, the, the entertainers had said they were making money off of their likeness and image and they weren't being compensated for it, and it was done without their consent in a non-public forum, which is the truth, because if you have ever been to a club, then you know that you have to show ID to get in. Um, it's not a traditional public forum is where I'm going with that. Right, so absolutely. I, I you can't know. believe he actually live-streamed from the club. I had heard that that was going to be a possibility, but he actually did it. I was actually there and I sat there for a few minutes and he, he must have been watching my stream because he waited till I left before he went there. So I actually went and sat in the parking lot. Um, but my, I don't know for sure, but from what I understand, he went to Deja Vu. Um, but I don't know if that was true or not. I got a description of the bar. But I've never been inside Deja Vu, and the only way I can find out if that was where he was is to go there, and that's, you know, I'm not going to Deja Vu tonight. Like, I've got more important things to do. Right. Like, go to the casino and gamble, right, Callie? Uh-uh. No? Uh, you know, but it's just like, um, I'm sure that, you know, YouTube has that video, even though it's deleted. I'm sure it's stored on their server. And, um... I'm sure that um, if the person, you know, follows through on some of the things that we talked about today, which I'm not going to name that person, of course, but I got a phone call today from somebody uh, who follows my channel, who follows Swine's channel and saw that video. And, uh, you know, he said that there's definitely, in his opinion, some legal issues potentially there that Swine can get, you know, tied up in. And, I hope this guy follows through on that. Um, he said he tried to call the club last night, but the number was busy. He couldn't get through. Um, so, you know, I hope there's some follow through on that and some follow up on that to say, hey, you know, um, I don't know. He said, I guess he got a mark on his neck or something, and I don't know anything about that. He was supposed to be a video about it today, but I never saw anything come out. But it was a YouTube video of him showing yeah, he just showed yeah, it, and then he said he was going to talk about it, but I don't think anything else ever came of it. Did you see? I haven't seen anything. I, I watched the it was like a thirteen or fourteen second video, and it was it was ridiculous. I mean, to say the least. But let me ask you this: When has Swine done something that didn't possibly get him hemmed up in some trouble? He can't even be on his own property without trying to audit his neighbor and dispute over over property lines. The guy is hell bent on destruction, and anybody who has a brain, uh, two brain cells to run rub together can see this. Right. So again, I just wanted to call on and say good work, um, exposing the connect, the ongoing connection between him and Noman. Um, look, and, and I'll be honest, man, I 
I, I see a guy like Melman get arrested and all the details haven't come out yet. Yeah, I, I dropped a little bit of money um, in Melman's account to try to help him out. But now I just feel like I've been suckered and I feel stupid. And I feel like um, I, I should have trusted my gut on that one a little bit more. So I think a lot of people feel that way, to be honest. Um, you know, I've asked a couple times how much money's been donated and I've gotten nothing and I've heard $20. Um, well, so, I, I know neither of those are true because personally what I gave him was more than that. Right. So, um, you know, the bottom line is, is we'll never know. Hey, I'm getting a call from a private number, so I'm going to go ahead and take this call. All right, brother. All, All right, right, man. You on the mic. What's your beef? <laughs> Why? What up? Who's this? All right. What would you like to discuss? Uh, gee, I don't know. What do you What do you want to discuss? You called me from a private number. What would you like to discuss? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? I don't know. Who that? Who that? That's somebody that has my real number. That wasn't a Google Voice number. Do you know who that is, though? No, I had no no, uh, no clue who that was. But they called on my real number, not my Google Voice number. So it's somebody that has... It's somebody that has my phone number because I put in my Google Voice number. So like, you put in your fake number, but that person has your number? Yeah, I put in my burner number, the one I texted you from the other day. Oh. That's like the weird one. And then we kept texting you. All right, now we got an unavailable. You on the mic, what's your beef? Yo, dude, sorry. I accidentally got cut off before. Oh, right on. Who's this again? Who this? My name is Vincent, and I'll just say, do you mind if like, I do a shout out to my friends? Feel free. All right. Uh, shout out to John, Tyson, and Naomi, and Stanley, and Josh. All right. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Awesome. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> we support the First Amendment, but we don't support ignorance. <laughs> Whoever, that one came up unavailable, so that one was good. But. On the mic, that should be your new. That's my new thing. You're on the, on the mic. mic. What's your beef? Mystery 13, you should call in and we'll discuss the Noman Swine incident. And I'll give you the lying version, which is my version, apparently. Uh, even though I have video to, you know, back up my version, but it's all good. This is my daughter, Callie. She, a lot of times, does the floss on my videos. Do, 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 do. do the floss. You got it? Do the floss. Is it the floss or the flosser? Floss. The floss. There we go. All right. She does, she does the oh, floss. Somebody unsubscribed to my channel. I have 20. What the heck? <laughs> Go look her up on YouTube, guys. Callie Siebel is her name. Go subscribe. There's 18 people in here. She should have 18 new subscribers. Well, I think some of them are. All right. Well, you should have, like, at least five new subscribers, right? Yeah. We need five new subscribers for Callie. Okay, okay. And she'll do the floss in a video. No, I won't. Sure you will. No, I won't. I would have played this little clip I got yesterday. Give me a second. And this is my donuts I got from a mouse game. Right. That this feller won me. And this is this is I got this call yesterday. So, uh, I'm sending the message on the swine. This is the swine. Oh, is that? Oh. For one badass motherfucker in a ray car. I got me, so you better get your helmet and crayons and get the hell out of Dodge. What the heck? What just in case you want to hear it again. Hey, I just got pulled over. Uh, they're looking for oh. one badass motherfucker in a ray car. I got me, so you better get your helmet and crayons and get the hell out of Dodge. You better get your helmet and your cranes and get the hell out of Dodge, swine. Nah, I ain't calling in the Noman Show, man. I ain't wasting my time on that. 
Dude just keeps calling me a bitch, calling me a bitch. He sent me a message this morning that said he was going to sue me for slander. Um, Putting me out of the frame? Like, I don't think either one of them guys got the money to file a lawsuit against me, number one. And if they do, we're not worried. This little girl could walk flying around the courtroom. You could be my lawyer, right? No. Private number again. Let's see what we You're got. On Mike, what's your beef? You're on the mic. What's your beef? Is that the same person? I think it's the same person. That person must not like you. It is. That person not like you? Give me a second, guys. I gotta do something. Researching. Don't say nothing out loud. That's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to buy an app that will allow you to on the block number. So when they call from a private or restricted number, it will still give you the information. Is he on? Uh, I don't know. He usually doesn't comment if he's on because he doesn't want people to know who he is. You keep. I just got a message from Skype. You hear that? I cooked and the smoke alarm didn't go off. Would That's you a miracle. Wait. Oh, that dog food. My mother makes dog food. Or spiral zucchini. What's your YouTube? Allie Seabold. C A L L I E space S E A B O L T. Hello? Welcome to high school. Welcome to high school. You're on the mic. What's your So beat? there's an app I found that you can get, and you can try it for a week, and it'll give you blocked numbers that call you. Are you still on vibing? Yes. yes. What's, what's she eating, Oops. dude? <laughs> Spiral zucchini. She's eating dog food. Dog food. Show dad's viewers your dog food. Doesn't that look like dog food? This looks like crap in a bowl. <laughs> it's spiral zucchini. Crap in a bowl. Poopy. Ah, Daniel Calhoun is live in the chat. Anyone need some representation? I keep getting no! I, Ew! I keep getting calls from this blocked number, so I'm gonna sign up for this app that will allow me to unblock numbers. Safe in chat. We want basic. Boom. One time activation fee waived. Five bucks a month. Put it on some PayPal. You search for a promo code? No. <laughs> Why would I? I gotta figure out who that guy is. Yeah. Oh, well, they're gonna stop calling now. Oh, because they're watching? Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely, they're watching it. Whoever it is has my real number. Uh, they just kept saying the N-word. A racial slur towards black people. Um, and they blocked their number. 
So, uh, oh, we got another Ooh, call coming in. Illinois. You're on the mic. What's your beef? Hey, Andy. I've been watching you forever. Who is this? Who is this? Uh, you're not my nigger, best friend. Nigger, 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 fucking nigger. Come beef my ass. Nigger, 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 nigger. <laughs> All right. We muted this call, and we're going to publish this number. The yeah, this guy didn't block their number. Stupid. I can't tell if they're calling on my Google. They got to be calling on my Google number because it rings through on this one, but I don't know. That's stupid. 718 That's got all out of order. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Hang on. That's the wrong number. That's the wrong number. Don't call it. You'll probably end up calling the laundry mat. Don't right. call it. <laughs> the laundry mat. I don't know. That prank phone call was from that second number, the A15 number. My number is 29501. What's the rest of it, Kay? I don't know. I think I it's zero, zero, 0602. I don't know your phone number. Me neither. <laughs> Wait, so can you only do the block numbers or like can you does it just does it show you their name or just the number? Uh I don't I think it just shows me their number. You should try it with my number. It just shows the number of the show. One year basic plan, three ninety five a month. I'm just going to sign up. Five bucks a month. I've spent five bucks a month on a lot dumber shit than getting blocked phone calls, right? Mm hmm. You get five packages for a million a I know, right? Every day when we get. That stupid WWE network. Okay. Every day when we get mail, it's a Christmas. It's Christmas. Mm hmm. We support the Chinese kids in China. And As opposed we, to the Chinese kids in right. America, Japan. Japan. We support them and we order lots of packages from China. In America. Most of China. In Tarzan. Some, some Hong Kong. Some are from Hong Kong. We should have Ask a Lawyer segment and get Dan Calhoun to call in. Got to pull the jumper cables off my car. All right. Huh? Is your car dying? Never. Never, ever, ever. Uh, Is it not yet? Yeah, it's one week free. Okay, we'll make sure you cancel that. Well, I may want to keep it. Hmm. If it works good. Let's activate your number. Okay. I All right. Hang on, guys. We're trying to do something here. Time here. Can turn the other one? Yeah, can I turn the other one? Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? Hit the white circle button at the bottom. <laughs> and then my code started. This one? Yep. Okay, I've done this. Gotta eat a zucchini. Now, you, first. now you must unmask the call. Okay, one thing we can do. Wait, I need to bring a drink. Have a drink. Yeah, can what I have up, a drink? Guys. Have what up, what up, what up? 
Oh, I don't really give a shit if it is or not. That's what I have an attorney for. I'm not going to drink. I'll be right back, guys. Those are good zucchini noodles, huh? I'm gonna show up. All right, let's try this. Ah, I still take a drink of that popcorn. I gave it to you. I did take a drink. Let me take a drink. Oh. oh. And then what do I do? Then it'll call again in 10 seconds, unmasked. Oh. Boom. Oh. Hello? Kelly, let's test it. Yeah, call me, star six seven. Is your real number? Yes. I should have set it up for my Google voice number. Probably. <laughs> it's all right. Because then when people call, it's going to be when people call your number? Well, it automatically forwards to my Google voice. So let's try it. What up, guys? So I just downloaded this app that will unblock blocked calls. So we're testing it out right now. Is it still ringing on your end? That's my number. Okay, now try my Google Voice number and send it forward. Let's see what it does. See what it do. What it do, what it do. What's your number? Uh, 219 501 Zero six zero two. That's just still ring. Because it shows you the number. All right, Mr. Indy Blue News, it's time for you to take your night night medicine. Bada boom. Did it show my number? B is good. No one's was good. Oh gee, I'll have to send you the app, bro. It's like five bucks a month. It's all good. I'll take care of it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> California number calling. <laughs> You're on the mic. What's your beef? Uh, yeah, this is so How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good. You know, I caught your video yesterday. It was actually sent to me in my uh, my uh, Facebook Messenger. And uh, I saw the 26-minute video how you said that wine was over at Norman's house 
And I guess, I guess as far as you're concerned, because I don't know, I don't have any previous knowledge of this, that they were playing it up, I guess, in your area, I guess, to you saying they hated one another or, I don't know. I find the whole thing really crazy that one guy who was probably part of this from the beginning is going to say that he's working for the FBI. Now, no, 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 no. Yeah. Swine does not work for the FBI. Everybody else works for the CIA. I don't know. I'm, I know. I know about Swine, but the guy that he that is at the other guy's house. Oh, what he was saying. He doesn't really work for the FBI. What he, what the story is um, is that he was trying to get Swine to make statements of treason and was going to report it to the FBI. And then since Swine had logged into YouTube on his computer. Uh, he was going to broadcast Swine's arrest on Swine's channel, was, is the story. That's the cover story for why they were together last night. No Manessio was trying to set yeah. him up. Yeah, I know, but, I mean, come on. I mean, just give it up. Just, just, just tell the truth. Tell everybody, hey, we, we scammed the auditing community because that, that's what I believe they did. I mean, I made a whole bunch of videos concerning all this because I'm pissed off. I mean... Look, I'm not an auditor. I'm never going to be an auditor. I've already made it very clear, you know, after my whole border beatdown at the OK made support. I'm not an auditor. I'm not a cop watcher. I'm not a cop walker. I'm not even really an activist, but I still support the community. Right. See, and that's you know, the thing is there's, I, I there's, there's, there's people out there that are like that. Um, at, like Black Label Cop Watch. I don't think Black Label goes out and does audits, but what he does is he raises awareness for the rest of us that are out there doing it and brings people to our channels and helps the movement. Yeah, there's so many support roles within the community that I can be a part of without being on the front line, without getting arrested, because, you know, no offense to anyone that's ever been arrested. I mean, I got detained at the border for three hours. I didn't like it. Right. I think I was swatted. You know, but here's the thing. It made me realize that my belief in the First Amendment, it's not strong enough for me, uh, an auditor or wannabe auditor, to go to jail for it. I just, I, I can't do it. I'm not made that way. Right. So I just figured after that that, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do something different. I mean, look, I always tell everybody I'm an a-hole with a big mouth who's got a channel called The Salty Rant. I mean, it's basically true, but, you know... I look at things from my perspective. When I saw that video last night with your crew around in your car, and then I saw the, uh, the comments made afterwards by Noman Nessio, I was blown away. I felt compelled to stay to do a live stream and to talk about it. I'll have to check that out. I've actually, to be honest, I've never heard of you until tonight, so I'll have to subscribe to your channel and check it out. And, um, uh, I think Believe me, I didn't ever read it last night, so we're, we're even on that. Right. I think there's a lot of people that feel betrayed. Um, there was, you know, there's never been a clear uh, amount established um, as far as donations. Like when Swine got arrested at Porter County, I know there was some money raised, and I've inquired, and I've been told zero, and I've been told 20. And you heard a little bit, of, little bit ago, Ohio Guardian said he himself donated more than $20. So... Um, I think there was a, a scam there. Um, I've got a recording today where I talked to Swine for like 45 minutes and he openly admits uh, that uh, that uh, no Manessio knew about the phone call ahead of time. So, um, and no Manessio says, no, I didn't. Well, Swine says he did. Um, my theory, along with the theory of a lot of other people, uh, which no Manessio also sent me a message on Facebook this morning, threatening to sue me for slander for the things I said last night. Um, but that's neither here nor there because my views is shared by thousands of people, I think. So if he's going to sue me, he's going to have to sue you and sue the next guy and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. But I think basically what happened is, is they were in cahoots together. I think no man knew the call was going to be placed. Uh, when swine repellent got all the backlash he got, um, I think Nomenesio tried to distance himself from that, so he still had the support of the auditing community. And I just got sick of Nomenesio playing the fence. Um, 
you know, he's, he slammed me for my other business. You know, I had a wrestling company that I ran for three years and says, you know, he slammed me for that. You know, the truth is, is that the venue I was using didn't support my cop watching and, and my first amendment movement. Uh, so they declined to let me run any more shows. Um, I got nothing to hide about that. I wasn't booted out because I'm a scumbag and a liar. Like he says, um, their views, their political views were different than mine. They and they chose the right to not let me use their venue, which is their right to do. Um, but I think that basically Nomenesio was playing the fence because like we have a group chat like Ohio Guardian was talking about where there's like six or eight of us in a group. And Nomenesio would come in there and be like, oh, swine's a bitch. Swine sucks. Swine this, swine that. And then 10 minutes later, he's on his live stream with swine and their buddies kissing each other's ass. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, this is the problem with social media that I've found. I've been on social media for a few years. There's a lot of people out there with personas. Very few people are, like myself are going to be out in the open and tell you like it is. I've gotten a lot of backlash for being honest and being open about my views and what I think. I get a lot of people trolling, and, you know, trolling is just a product of social media. You're never going to get rid of them. I can block, ban, and mute all day long. They're just going to come back and keep reinventing, you know. And, and that, that's the problem. People are fake. These guys are so fake. And I feel I feel like I got used to because, you know, I believed all the hype and the bull crap. I had other friends that were looking at it and they're like, Lou, you got to see this. It's crazy. And then now, I mean, not even two weeks later, it's a scam. It was all for money and views. I mean, look. Who the hell do you know that's going to go to a public restroom, vandalize the wall, and flush an empty toilet saying he was there on other business? Right. I mean, I don't know anybody. Right. Like, he happened to walk in there to use the bathroom, found it, and then forgot to use the bathroom. Yeah, and here's another thing, right? He's trying to blame it on somebody else. Now, how stupid are you, dude? It's on YouTube forever. How many people did tell him? If I had the ability to copy, I would have copied it. Well, from what I understand, As from what, from what, everywhere. from what Nomenesio said, it's the Portage, Indiana, Walmart. So uh, I'm actually going to be over that way tomorrow. So I'm going to stop into that Walmart and just take a gander. And uh, if it is, I'll let them know that there's video of it online. Yeah, I mean, you know. And then I heard the 911 call. Uh, Black people cop watch sent it to me, as I'm sure he was sending it to other people all over the internet today. Yeah, I have it too. And you know what? I mean, come on. I mean, you're saying that the guy is wearing a mask. You're putting the cops on edge. That's crazy. If you and if, also if, crazy. If you look, if you listen to that call too, one of the things that uh, that I picked up on was the fact that there's no background noise in it either, which leads me to believe they probably made it from the car uh, before they even step foot, you know, uh, out, out onto the street. My guess is they probably parked in town because uh, Swine's car is loud as shit. It's a piece of crap. So my guess is, is they turned the car off, and before they got out of the car, they, that call was placed because there's absolutely no background noise in that call. If you listen, you don't hear cars going by, you don't hear the wind blowing, you don't hear shit. Yeah, no, actually, I, I listened to it a couple of times. I was like, you know, it sounded a little strange. I'm like, what am I missing? And I'm like, oh, yeah, there's no background noise. You know, but again, obviously the police chief was out of control, but here's the thing. He knows how to trip swine's buttons. But the police chief professional, in my opinion, no. But the other cops, you know, kind of douche and aggregate a little. Right. And, uh, and I'm not speaking for the cops. I, you have to understand, they've dealt with these guys probably many times. Right. I agree that the cops were not professional. That's something I don't dispute at all. Um, but if you've seen, I've been to that town twice since this happened. I didn't call the police on myself and I was left alone. The second time I went, which was uh, Monday, um, I did have a vehicle, which I want to say is a cop. Uh, I, I can't swear to it because I'd have to go back and look at Swine's video. Um, but I did have the same red truck 
circling around me. I saw it like three or four times. So I had the same vehicle that was watching me, but I sat I sat right in front of the police station. There's a bench literally right at the police station. And I sat on that bench for 15 minutes live and I was not approached. I was not contacted. I was not talked to, nothing. And I would venture... Yeah, but- I would venture to say that if those guys hadn't called the cops on themselves, they probably would have got the same treatment. Uh, I'm not excusing. That's exactly my point. That's what I was going to tell you. You didn't call the cops on yourself, so why would the cops have a reason to bother you? Right. And uh, I've had towns where I've been approached. I've got videos up uh, um, in East Chicago, Indiana, for an example, I've got two videos up where both times I've went there, um, just carrying my firearm and a camera because I have a license to carry for the state of Indiana. And, um, I've had trouble both times I've been there. Um, so it does happen. I mean, it happens to hundreds and hundreds of other people. Um, I just think that this was hyped up. I think it was called in. I don't think that like, I don't think Swine necessarily lied when he called it in, but I think he called it in in such a manner that that automatically sent them with a heightened alert, if that makes sense. Well, it did say that uh, there was a guy out there wearing a mask, and he was acting suspicious that he had a camera. Now, if that's not enough to give the cops a pause to come in semi-aggressively, then yeah, okay, but... Here's the damage that they've done to the community, okay? The auditing community is a great community by far, in my opinion. Now, there's certain people here in the auditing community I just can't get along with. And that's my that's my 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 cross bear. But I make no bones about it. You know, I, I tell it like it is. I support most of the auditors, not all. You know, and and these guys went ahead and got sympathy from a lot of good people in the community, okay? CNC News, a lot of people, okay? They got kind words. They got help. They got people calling for them. They got people backing them. Only so they can do a publicity stunt for money, for views, for sympathy, for the promotion of their channels. I mean, come on. I mean, that's fraudulent. And if nobody sees it, nobody agrees with me, then that's fine. Don't agree with me, okay? I don't care. But I'm going to go ahead and make a video about it, like I have... You know, several times previous this week, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. I saw what you did that night. Uh, I think it was last night. Yeah. And then I saw your live afterwards where everybody, boom, or everybody was in your live stream and they were all talking. And I was completely dumbfounded that these guys think they can do this and get away with it and then laugh about it like it's a joke and that everything's going to be fine. But I don't know about you. But I don't want the blue boots of uh, tyranny on the back of my neck telling me how I'm going to live, what I'm going to do, and and everything else in my life. I don't want the thin blue line get between me and my freedom. I'm not going to stand for it. Now, I'm only one person, but I'm, I'm in a community with many people. Probably feel the same way as I do. Some of us maybe are maybe a little bit more militant. Maybe some of us can do more than others. I don't know. But as part of a community, I think nobody wants to be told what to do by these corrupt cops and these corrupt government. I mean, isn't that the reason we're all here? I agree. Um, we're not here to defraud or steal money or, you know, make the community look like crap. Right. I mean, these guys have single-handedly torn down the community in a week. They've done more damage in one week than any infiltrator or cop or anybody could do in a year's time. Give me things. Um, hang, hang on one second. I don't mean to cut you off, but I had I had a question uh, from Desert Sentinel that came up in the chat. Um, Desert Sentinel, um, I can tell you from my own experience, uh, I can't speak on the swine situation. Uh, I will touch on it a little bit real quick. Uh, swine is banned from um, all St. Joe County property uh, for like three years or something. Um, so is it possible that the law enforcement in North Liberty knew him and was tired of dealing with the douchebag idiot? Absolutely. And the reason I say that is um, I've gone to towns locally where I live and um, that I've not had interaction with, but because cops talk and they know other cops, blah, 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 
Um, I have cops that know me in cities that I've never even been to. Like, um, I'll show up to do an audit and they'll be like, hey, Jeremy, how's it going? And I'll be like, dude, I don't even know you. And they're like, oh, well, I know, you know, five officers in the Hammond Police Department, which is the city I live in. Um, so it's very possible um, that that is the case. Um, but back to our chat, I just wanted to address that. Somebody asked if it was possible that they were just fed up with dealing with him. And I think that is entirely the case. Like they may not have specifically had interactions with him in North Liberty, but based on the fact that he's banned from all St. Joe County property and North Liberty's in St. Joe County, the chances are they were probably aware of who he was, if I had to guess. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's a video on Swine's page. I think I figured it earlier. Well, he was walking around on a sidewalk or something, and the cop, the sheriff, the one that was following him around with the uh, camera and everything, being a real pain in the ass, the day that he squatted Nomenesio. Yeah, that was in the um, same town that Nomenesio was arrested in. That, that, that bald cop, the sheriff, he knew why it was. I kind of got that feeling, right, I kind of got that feeling too, but I can't say that, um, you know, uh, I can't say for a fact that he does or he doesn't, but um, it seemed to me like he knew or, or was familiar with who he was and what he does, because um, like I said, I get the same uh, interaction where I live, um, you know, because I've done so many audits in my local community now, like, town over to the west you know to the south whatever those departments know me and if they don't know my name they know my channel like i've had cops that have been like yeah i watch your youtube channel um i've had memos put out about me in the police departments you know saying hey this guy records leave him alone um you know that type of thing so um you know is it possible that that north liberty was familiar with him uh, absolutely. Um, can we prove it? Not necessarily, but um, I definitely think it's a, it's a thought. Well, if you kind of prove it just by looking at the actions of the officers, the way they were treating him, I know a lot of people wanted to believe that he was a victim, but, you know, he pretty much created it. There's a guy, I don't know how well you know this guy or you don't know this guy, but I think he goes by the name is now Gwen City. Never heard of and, him. And uh, anyway, he was uh, he was giving me some really nasty stuff. To be honest, last night when I went to the swine page, I called swine retardation, and you know said it was worse than a bad B-rated Hollywood movie. And uh, he's like, hey, you know, he goes, next time you're going down on the chief, you know, bring your knee pads, blah blah blah. You know, of course, I put my video on today. Everybody that I know supported Joshua Haynes. And a bunch of others, even live people came on, did the sentinel. And basically, I told him, I said, hey, man, I said, if you want to kiss and make up, I said, you can leave your knee pads at home. I said, I'll be more than happy to, you know, pull down my zipper for you. You don't need your knee pads for that. But, you know, after providing the proof, people asking me to provide more proof. I'm like, I'm dumbfounded. I don't even know how to go about answering his questions. I don't know if they're just doing it because they're growing. Like, you know, like they just don't know, or are people really that ignorant and dumb? I mean, I've just left it a lot of work because I've, like you, blown the lid off of this, showing these guys to be fake, showing them to be the uh, grifters and scammers and scumbags, in my opinion, and it doesn't seem like it's enough. People want more information. Right. You know, I asked Swine today, I'm going to release the phone call I had with him, and, uh, I asked him today, he was talking about, um, have you, uh, you've heard about how he thinks that the grocery store across the street from his house is ran by the CIA, right? You've heard that? I've never heard that. I, okay. I, did, I did see something on Bunny Boots, the Bunny Boots featured um, some briefs that um, Wyatt had sent to a radio station wondering why they weren't playing his question on here or whatever and how he got sick and i i can so send you like, some files i sent out so some paperwork to people but like he filed an amend or, or uh, order asking to waterboard three people so he could prove they were government agents um but 
there's the grocery store deal. There's a grocery store in the town he lives in. It's a little itty bitty town. Uh, one grocery store. It's called Grocery by Joe or Groceries by Joe or something. And uh, he thinks there, uh, there's 27 people in that store that are CIA agents that are all watching him. And uh, he thinks that there's two drones that fly over his house that monitor him. Uh, they're poisoning his water. Um, there's a like secret women's penitentiary or some shit in the town he lives in. It's like a women's convent or something run by a church. And he swears it's a women's penitentiary. Uh, I belong to the CIA, black labels in the CIA, Ohio, Ohio Guardians in the CIA, uh, James Freeman, I think, is in the CIA. Um, but he goes on and on about this stuff. So I asked him today, I said, I said, Swine, if you think these people are in the CIA, I said, what proof do you have that they're in the CIA? And he goes, well, that's the problem. I can't prove they're in the CIA because there's no path to do it. And I said, OK, I understand that. But logically like if i'm gonna say the salty rant that you use crystal meth well i'm gonna have some sort of proof to say that before i just say hey you use crystal meth like i'm gonna have video of you buying drugs i'm gonna have video of you using drugs i'm gonna have statements from your drug dealer i'm gonna have statements from your wife from your kids you know something and he's like well i don't have any obligation to prove anything it's just i i know that's true and i'm just like Okay. You know, uh, Black Label, I was just using meth as an example. The Salty Ran is very clear on that. There was no, no, uh, no accusations or anything there. That was just an example. I had somebody say that that's a, that's a slander statement. I just want to make it clear that you and I are on the same page that it was just used as an example. Oh, yeah, no, uh, I mean, you know. If somebody's going to stand like crystal meth, dude, that's a compliment. I mean, really. But, I mean, you, you get know, the I point mean, of the example that if you're going to start accusing, like, if you're going to say, hey, Indy Blue News is a CIA agent, you know, his only proof of me being a CIA agent is last night I said something about there being a tracker on his car. And he's like, well, that means you're a CIA agent. And I said, no, dude, honestly, I just said it because I know you're fucking paranoid and it'll trip your trigger. And then you're going to be out looking under the hood of your car for a fucking tracking device today. <laughs> I mean, you know what, I mean, um, crap, I forgot what I was going to say now. I've got me completely lost in my own thoughts. Um, it happens. Yeah, in California, in California, that would be considered a 5150. Crazy person. Yes. No, I agree. For a mentally ill person, he needs, he needs to fucking be in a padded room like with a gown and a helmet like legit like and that's what i tried to explain to him dude i i was like if you're in a room and there's a thousand people in a room and 999 people say the sky is blue and swine repellent says the sky is green are the other 999 people wrong or are you wrong and he's like well i just see things differently and i'm an intellectual thinker and He's like, he tried to insult me and make himself sound all smart. He's like, well, I don't think you can comprehend the level of my thinking. And I'm just like, uh, I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, you're probably right because I'm not fucking crazy. Like, I dabble in reality. Well, I mean, if you really want to get nasty about it, you can look at him and tell him, well, you know, when I'm comprehending the quality or comprehension of your thinking, I'm usually looking at my dog taking a shit in the backyard, but and again, what do I really know? It's just my opinion. You know, I, I don't, I don't mean to be, uh, you know, I'm just generous, but I'm just saying that, you know, there's ways around it, but it's not about arguing. I mean, he's going to think what he thinks. You're never going to change his mind. You know, being who I am, being the salty rant, I was blind justice a while ago. My channel got taken down. A whole bunch of drama behind that. Right. I'm not even going to get into. And I can't convince people. If people are so fervently convinced that something I'm saying isn't true or I'm a certain way or they've got me characterized as a bad person, you're never, ever going to convince them otherwise. So, you know what? I just write them off. I don't even try anymore. Right. And that's where I'm at. Like, Swine, Swine called me today and he's like, well, let's make, let's come to an understanding. And I'm like, dude. We're not going to come to an understanding like you're way over here to the left. I'm way over here to the right. Like, I don't think we're going to meet anywhere. Like, you're delusional 
And even if you don't agree with me, like, you know, like I tried to tell him, like, I don't have anything against him personally. Like, I don't want to see the guy shot and killed or, you know, any of that shit. Like, I just think he's a crappy auditor. I think he's a scumbag. And I think that, like, what he did was try to um, pull a hoax or play, you know, get money or whatever out of the auditing community. Um, and I think he's a piece of crap for that. Like, I don't wish the guy any personal harm. I don't, I, I think, on honesty, I think it's sad and I think he needs help. Um, but, like, I can't convince him that, you know, he's like, oh, you're a governmental agent and, you know, blah. And I'm like, dude, like, I'm not, but I don't, like, I don't know what to tell you. You know, like, um, you can't fix, you can't fix stupid. So, you know, I'm right. You know what? I don't even bother. I need to open this one. Yep. So, I mean, that's that. So, but, uh, man, I appreciate your time. If you got anything else you want to talk about, we can do that. If not, uh, I'm going to move on and open the line back up and see if anybody else wants to call in. Yeah, no, I'm not going to hog your line. But, hey, man, thanks a lot. And, uh, since your video last night exposing the truth, that's why I became a new. Well, I appreciate it, man. Any shout outs and any people you can send my way, I, I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, well, if you get a chance, you might want to contact Falling Bomb and maybe do the easy session with Falling Bomb. Okay. He interviews auditors in the auditing committee, and I think it'll be great exposure for you and for your channel. Awesome. Uh, do me. Do an interview. They do me a favor if you would send me an email uh to indiebluenews at gmail.com and give me the connect information there because i'm live and i i probably won't remember it i'm just being honest so if you could uh yeah, shoot no me problem. an email with that i would appreciate it what, what's the email again indiebluenews at gmail.com all right i'll get on thank Th you thank you sir appreciate your time day. all right Lines back open. If anybody wants to call in, that was the salty rant, a half hour of the salty rant. I gotta be in here in case somebody calls. Right. If anybody else wants to call in, if anybody else wants to discuss anything. I'm the one who answers the phone. And plug your YouTube channel so we can get you, we got 28 people watching. Callie Siebel. Did you get any new subscribers yet? No. Have you looked? Uh-uh. Tell these people. Anybody else want to call in? Use the block the number thing. Let's do it. Call him. Talk. Uh, my source got back to me and said the general manager at Deja Vu is aware of Swine's recording. And that uh, he's going to be blocked from uh, coming in. All, you, all we had to do was say, hey, look for a goofy dude with a green shirt and a hole in the back. He has a hole in the shirt, too. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, gave, him, I gave Noman the timeout like he gave me the timeout. Yeah, if you look at my video where we're in New Carlisle or in uh, um, North Liberty and, I, and he's walking in front of me, you can see there's a big flash in the back of his shirt. We need to do a clothing drive for him. My daughter wants to do a clothing drive for swine. What do you guys think? We could probably find some discount girls underwear so he don't get his panties in a bunch. Maybe we should upgrade him. We should upgrade him to women's. Because if he wears girls, they get in a bunch. All right. We got a Texas call coming in. You're on the mic. What's your beef? Hi, this is Texas Rose. Hey, how are you? Doing well, doing well. I uh, haven't been able to do much typing. I've been doing other things, but I've been watching and listening. Hey, that's and, cool. Um, you know, it's a it's a hard movement because we don't have any leaders. Um, we don't need to have any leaders, but we do need to have people held accountable. And I have been called on stuff where I've made mistakes, and hopefully, people who uh, who care will call me on if I make any more mistakes. But the thing is, is we all make mistakes and uh, we need to admit to them and uh, let everybody know and move on. Um, when people keep holding on to those old ideas and 
and trying to convince everybody that they're the only one that's right, it's rather difficult to even have a conversation. Right. I can't even think about trying to have a conversation with some people. But I support them as best they can, and if they're doing something that puts me or other people in danger, I just unsub and ignore them. Right. Um, like, I, I agree with that. Like, um, you know, I made statements a couple times, like everybody does things differently. And, you know, just from the auditing perspective, as an example, um, if you watch like any of my post office videos, I don't go into post offices. I just don't. Not my thing. Uh, other people do. And I've got comments in my videos like, oh, you're a pussy because you don't go into the post office or you're a bitch or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, if you want to see somebody go into a post office and get into a confrontation that way, um, there's plenty of auditors that do it that way. I just don't, um, you know, so it's not that it's right or it's wrong, but like, I think where a majority of us do agree is like that calling the cops on yourself and instigating your own videos, um, for views is definitely, uh, not productive to what the movement as a whole is trying to do. Totally. And, and one thing that um, I watched the live stream earlier and uh, the auditor had no contact and the number of people who were in there who were disappointed that, you know, there wasn't a fight or there wasn't an arrest or something like that, you know, that's what you call a past audit. Um, and they happen and, and people have to realize that just because um, you don't have any contact doesn't mean a call hasn't been made in to say, hey, what's going on? And someone maybe have told them, have told the general public, hey, they have every right to be out there. You, 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 there's a lot of things that go on in the background that, that people don't understand, but point fingers because you have a, an audit where you have no contact and you walk through the building and people have seen you and everything like that, that's not a bad audit. Right. Um, I, I made I, that argument with Swine. I said, when you're walking around City Hall, in Joe Schmo town in any town, whether it's Texas, California, Indiana, or fucking Alaska, um, you know, chances are you've been seen by somebody um, and they're just making the choice that, hey, this person's not doing anything wrong. Is there a chance that you weren't seen? Absolutely. But that's why you see guys like Freeman and guys like High Desert and Nasty Nathaniel and, you know, News Now Houston that go back to locations more than once because you know, okay, maybe they didn't see me the first time, but if you go there two, three, four times and you don't get contact, chances are they know you're there and they're just respecting your rights. They're not messing with you. Well, I've also had the experience that at the local city hall where I went in and uh, was clarifying a FOIA request, a uh, written one with the city secretary and I live streamed the whole thing and Within 12 hours, there were signs up on the doors that said no videoing and no photography and no audio. And it just, there was no ordinance or anything like that. So I had a city commissioner's meeting last night and brought it up. And the city commissioners were looking at the city manager going, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> but it was just so ridiculous. They put those signs up on doors that are glass. The whole wall is glass, so all I, you know, if I want to take videotape, I just stand on the other side of the glass. It's, yeah, it just, uh, you know, it, people, you know, overreact and underreact, and and we all do it differently. The biggest thing I want to do is, is make Why sure that? that I don't put somebody else in danger. Um, right. I have been going out by myself, and no, it's not recommended. But you know what? I'd rather go out by myself make some phone calls ahead of time, make some texts, know that people are waiting for me to go live, um, and if I don't call back in a certain time, they keep going and have the information. Well, so somebody that is not trustworthy, that won't have my back, that will throw me under the bus, and could possibly get me hurt or killed. Right, I'm the same way. Like, I go out by myself a lot, and... um I used to have different people that I connected with when I first started, but like, you know, like I went to North Liberty Monday and uh, I text Ohio Guardian. And I'm like, Hey, here's where I'm going. Uh, I bought a hotspot specifically so I can be live because I have T-Mobile and T-Mobile does not work in North Liberty. So I bought a hotspot. So I had service there and I was like, 
hey, this is where I'm going. And I also contacted my attorney and I said, look, I'm going to North Liberty. If anything happens and you don't hear from me and my or like my live stream dies or whatever, like, uh, you know, this is where I'm going to be. This is where you can look for me. And um, I'm the same way. I would I would rather not go alone. But um, in the same respect, I'm like you. I would rather go alone and know that I'm going to be safe than go with somebody that's going to potentially put me in harm's way. Definitely. You know, and, and I had attempted to live stream Monday evening and I, I set it up and I made my contacts and texted and gave them the information and the phone numbers and they already had my, my personal information if something came down. And I only got like maybe a couple of minutes into the live stream and it just got jammed. Um, IT, it was a city office, who knows what happened. And um, immediately after it shut down, I just texted and let people know, okay, I'm here, I'm okay, nothing happened, it was just a live stream that went bad, and, um, you know, that, that happens, and I've, I've learned some things, and, and I'm not the tech-savvy people that a lot of people are, I mean, I've done videos that are upside down or sideways or, you know, put my finger over the microphone, and, and but, you know, it's, it's live and learn, and it's also watching people like you and, and other people in the community um, that I'm that I'm getting to know and respect and, and listening and learning. Um, I don't have to learn how to get arrested. I, I, I can do that very well all by myself if I wanted to. Right. Not, it doesn't take much to get arrested, Dan. And I'm the same way. I don't need any help. You know, I don't need help getting arrested. Yeah. When, when I'm at, there's, I'm, I'm down on the border of Mexico, and, you know, there's so much alphabet soup down here and federal and border and blah 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 i mean i could go a mile and and hit half a dozen agencies and really jam myself up but i'm i'm doing my research first and making sure i know where the property lines are through through the government and things like that and and just just being careful you know if i have somebody with me then it might be a little bit different but right now i'm, I'm just I'm probably overly cautious, but I'm getting the information out. I'm getting things done, and and uh, got a complaint going on. I'm supposed to be hearing from, um, was supposed to hear from the last couple of days that he's dodging me. So I'm just going to go in and do another live stream and confront the chief and say, okay, listen. I put the complaint form in and went through the process of internal affairs. It passed their ministry. It has the video. It's on your desk. And you are the only person who makes the decision on where it goes. What's going on? You know, I, I'm, you know, I understand, you know, people need time, but it's, you know, don't dodge me. Say I, I need some more time or say we're working on it or I have some more questions, but, but don't dodge me because it, it doesn't, doesn't turn out very well when people dodge me. I agree. I agree. But, uh, Hey, to cut you off, I'm going out with my wife here in a few minutes, and she just sent me a message on the phone that said, get your ass off or I'm going to bed. Go to well, bed. have a good evening, and thank you very much for listening. I hope I didn't ramble too much, but I just wanted to tell you guys I love everybody and support you, and um, you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Absolutely. I'll save your number. You save mine, and feel free to, you know, text with me and chat, whatever, and, you know, give me a holler whenever. I appreciate the support, and, uh, I will subscribe to your channel. I didn't realize you did content as well, so I will subscribe back and send it back your way. Okay, thank you very much. You're Bye. very welcome. Have a good one. I can get up for the next one. <laughs> That's the second time it's happened. Didn't you already go once? There we go, guys. No, I haven't. So. Um, I may do another live in a little bit, but uh, there's a promo cash at the casino call. So there's the third one. I'm going to go spend my $7 or $10 or whatever I got in free slot machine money. So talk to y'all in a little bit. I appreciate I the love and support. Here. I'll sit here and entertain them. You want to sit here and entertain my live stream? For hours. For hours? They'll probably all leave. They'll probably all leave. <laughs> Am I entertaining? Are you going to give out your phone number to field phone calls? No, she's not. Should I just leave my phone number? Should I just leave my phone so you can answer the phone calls? Mm -hmm. You're on the mic. What's your beef? And then you'll be like, the mic. What's your beef sandwich? And then you'll be like, how do you know my dad? 
All right, guys. I'd watch her. Go subscribe. Let's find your YouTube channel. I'll post the link. I got you. Let's see. YouTube. Dot. You can yeah. actually post videos on there, though. Do you? No, because I haven't got noticed one. Okay. I do. We do live streams. Oh. Okay. I don't notice of them. Yeah, I them after. Cali Seabolt. For both. We got 20 subscribers. I still have All right. Here we go. Hello. No perverts. Good. Mystery 13 will watch out for you, she said. Okay. There you go. I'm going off. If you want to watch my daughter live, she'll be live here. And if any of you sick perverted motherfuckers get in there. Her brother's an orange belt. Her, your brother will be an orange belt soon and he'll whoop their ass, right? Noah's pretty mean, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's mean. All right, we need to click here. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'll just... You got a couple minutes left because I got to wash my face. But... Swine's watching, so if he gets on your channel, block him. But I can't see who. You can't see who's on the live stream. Yeah, you, other people can, and they can tell you. I don't know how it works, but people tell me all the time. Like, I just got a text message that Swine's watching. So, um... Get some clothes. But we should be able to look at your <laughs> subscribers. Let's see. At 20. Yeah. See, you can look over here. Oh, I'm... Hang on. Where is it at? I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out one day. It's all good, guys. We're out of here. I'm going live on my account. Follow my...